when it comes to influencing people, understand that there are different currencies that people think about in different situations and to be successful in influencing people you have to understand what is the specific currency, what is the specific thing that this person wants. Because sometimes they want money, but sometimes they don't care about the money, they want time. And sometimes they don't care about the time, they want to, let's say, get love or they want to lose weight or they want to get new leads for their businesses so there are different things that people want and you have to understand and find a good measurement so sometimes people want things that can be measured like money time or weight loss in kilograms or pounds and sometimes you cannot measure just for example love or getting attention getting listened to understood okay so let's use the example weight loss so if you want to influence this person and you understand that this person cares about the weight not how they look fat or slim but then the language that you can use the the currency is kilograms or pounds and if, the, if you think that the timing is important for this person, you can also use time. So let's say you can lose one pound per week if you follow this weight loss method or if you buy this magic pill that you just take it and then you become uh, lighter. So understand this that, okay, it is just weight. It is weight during that time and then think about what is the optimal uh, unit so it is per week so probably the person thinks in kilograms or pounds okay so there is not too many options but the time can be that one year so you can lose 30 pounds a year or 15 pounds in six months or you can use months or week because they have different psychological impact so do you want to emphasize a big number of weight loss that 50 pounds per year or you want to emphasize the time aspect that two pounds per week so if you think that this person is more about the time aspect that they want to lose very quickly because let's say there is a wedding coming and they want to fit into the clothes then use that you can lose two pounds per week so it's week is a very short time you can lose weight in very short time but if you think that the weight the kilograms is important for this person that you can lose 50 kilograms in one year oh 50 okay so that person focuses on this one so when you want to argue or persuade somebody to change their beliefs to take actions then understand that in that specific situation to that specific person what is important and find that measurement so when you want to help people to lose weight just talking about the time maybe will not be very useful but maybe if the person want to lose weight because they believe that people will like them more or they can find easier a, a dating partner or a girlfriend or boyfriend then you can also change the measurement so when time is not so important you can say that every kilograms you lose from your weight will get one more date per month okay so if the person want to lose weight because for other people so the, the previous example that 50 
pounds per year it was more about for me for the individual but if the weight loss is this for other people that I want to lose weight because other people will treat me more favorably then in the measurement you should incorporate other people's reaction so more people will be willing to date with you if you become slimmer if this is what the person believes and if this is what is important for you so when you come to communicate with people and especially want to persuade them understand what is that they really want and find the best measurement if it's measurable if it's not measurable then just use very general this thing that <clears throat> if you learn a language you will be able to communicate with more people you don't know how many people and it's very difficult to measure but uh, you will feel more confident when you travel so that's why you should learn languages because you have chance to to meet more people it's easier you will feel more confident when you go to a foreign country and then you don't have to worry so if it's possible use something that is measurable and it's more believable and find an appropriate unit based on the person's preference and values and if it's not measurable just talk generally that it has some positive impact